What's up everybody? Welcome back to Exotic Astrology again and today we will discuss another example chart of a person who is into politics. Yes, 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 politics and we will see the yogas of different combinations which leads to politics and some specific yogas which are occurring in this chart and how uh, the Parivartan yogas which also help this native to go towards politics, okay? So if you are new to the channel and you have not yet subscribed, then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation then approach me through my website, the link is there in the description below and if you want me to make any other video then please let me know and if you like this video then click the thumbs up at the end after watching this video and as I always say, God is there with you all the time, just look to him and you will find him. So today's chart is about politics. So what are the significators of uh, politics well there are many significators but here we will focus on some specific things for example uh, the first thing to be noticed is there is a parivartan yoga between the lagna lord and the 11th lord yes because this is a libra rising person libra ascendant considering seven in the first house remember this is the first house not the seventh house okay and then you have the 11th house where the sign of Leo is so Sun and Venus are sitting in each other signs so the birth details are given here New Delhi 815 a.m. 20th October 1980 all right now there is uh, the Parivartan between the Lagna Lord and 11th Lord so Lagna Lord shows your name fame and 11th Lord is also showing your uh, achievements in the outer world okay so because of this uh, this person always tells me that the only thing that he has got in life is gains, gains, gains and only gains, okay. So when the Lagna Lord and 11th Lord are in Parivartan, this is a very, very, very good combination for money and power and post position, especially in this um, mundane age, okay, because those are the things which are most sought after. Now, that is one very important uh, yoga which is occurring here. The next thing which is happening is, uh, there is another Parivartan between Moon and Rahu here. So Rahu co-rules the sign of Aquarius along with Saturn. And then Moon is the ruler of Cancer. So Rahu is the 5th Lord here and Moon is the 10th Lord. So the 10th house also shows your name fame status. It is the house where, where Sun is there during the noon. And 5th house is the seat of power. Yes, because 5th house is originally uh, the house of Leo number five which is ruled by the Sun so when the tenth Lord and fifth Lord are in Parivartan so moon is in the house of Rahu and Rahu is in the house of the moon so this means that whenever the person goes out to work which is the tenth house he will obtain very high name fame status and recognition now there are several other uh, beautiful combinations in this chart so the other combination is there is this Raj Yoga. This is a very, very, very powerful Raj Yoga which is occurring here. The ninth Lord Mercury is situated directly in the Lagna. Yes, and ninth Lord <coughs> shows our principles, shows our religious inclinations. Ninth Lord also shows our ability to follow rules, regulations, and make others follow. Okay, so because of that. This person is very much geared towards following the codes of conduct, especially about the Indian constitution and he also ensures that everybody else who is subordinate to him also follows the rules and also follows the regulations. So <clears throat> that is a very powerful Raj Yuga which is occurring because this is the placement of a Trikona Swami in a Kendra. Okay, So first house is a Kendra and a Trikona both. So if the lords of fifth or ninth are sitting in the first house it is considered to be a raj yoga very 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 powerful yoga so the other raj yoga is moon is the tenth lord it is also sitting in fifth house so a kendra lord is sitting in a trikona so that is another raj yoga which is occurring okay so there are there are many other combinations in this chart for example the seventh lord which is Mars is situated in the second house this is also a very good combination for money because second house also shows your money and finances etc and it is also in its own sign okay 
so that is also very good now there is another very powerful rajyoga which is occurring here can anybody say what is that yes 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 you guessed it right the lagna lord venus and the 10th lord moon is in mutual exchange or oh, sorry is in mutual aspect okay so moon and venus are mutually aspecting each other so because of this this person is always uh, very much work focused in life this person does not waste time i have seen personally if the lagnesh is in 10th or the 10th lord is in lagna or they are the lagna lord and 10th lord are conjunct or are in mutual aspect then the person is very much geared towards career name fame success and the person is always wanting to do all those things okay so that is what uh, this person is doing and now you may say that okay what which area of politics is he interested in so now here uh, the tenth lord is moon and moon is sitting in the sign of aquarius here okay and aquarius is the sign which is related to what it is related to finances and it is related to uh, changing things in society okay so i suggested for this person that whenever you uh, become a minister later okay or you get any post or position then maybe you can <coughs> deal with issues like corruption because the shatabhisha nakshatra which shows secrecy and bringing out things from hidden uh, sources is also in the sign of aquarius here okay and then there are uh, nakshatras like dhanishtha which also shows social and political uprising etc so uh, areas like corruption will be very good uh, for this person now the one thing which is very important in this chart is the 12th house is a bit prominent here because there are planets like jupiter and saturn placed and if you see here jupiter is the sixth lord it is sitting in the 12th house okay so this shows that your enemies have gone to the house of laws okay so this is known as vipreet raj yoga when the lords of the sixth eighth or twelfth houses sit either in six eight twelve okay so here when the sixth lord shows enemies is going into the house of laws here okay so this is all uh, this is uh, becoming very much favorable for the person okay so and apart from that if you see mercury is also the 12th lord so and surya is the badakesh in the chart okay although it is the 11th lord of gains but it is also badakesh because for movable ascendance and libra is movable ascendant uh, the 11th lord is the uh, considered to be the badak planet okay so now you see what's happening the 11th lord is in the lagna it's in debility because sun gets debilitated in libra and the 12th lord of losses mercury is also here now mercury is also the 9th lord but it is also the 12th lord so whenever the badha kesh in a chart is sitting in the kendra or in prominent houses especially like the first or the 10th or the 12th lord is also sitting there okay or if they are conjunct then it is very good if this person can go out from his uh, homeland to another place to pursue his career because only then he can obtain name fame and recognition and in this case this person was born in a different state and now this person is not there in new delhi and this person is ha had his childhood in new delhi and now this person has shifted to another place uh, from his childhood and when i say another place it is quite drastically different he is somewhere in the extreme uh, eastern part of india i will not take the name uh, for security reasons so and he so he stayed initially in the northern part and after uh, some time he and his family shifted to the east and because of that now he is getting a lot a lot of success and name and fame because he left his homeland now india is a very big country so if you shift from uh, north because delhi is in the north and if you shift from north to east it can be considered as a big change although not a very big change but big enough to be called as a change yes so that has helped this native very much and and uh, if you see here the fifth lot which is saturn here saturn is sitting in the 12th house here now this is not a very good combination and uh, 
K2 is also situ situated in the fourth house okay so I have suggested him to do remedies pertaining to the fourth house and this person is doing that now and uh, Ketu in the fourth house also shows that if the person leaves the homeland or goes to a distant place the person can obtain a lot of success here so that is what I wanted to show here so basically what I wanted to focus was uh, the Parivartan of the Lagna Lord and the 11th Lord of Gains then Parivartan of the 10th house and the 5th house Moon and Rahu and the mutual aspect of Lagna Lord and the 10th Lord Venus and Moon the mutual aspect and this Vibrit Raj Yoga which is occurring due to Jupiter's placement in the 12th house and Badakesh and 12th Lord Mercury and Sun are in the Lagna and Ketu in the 4th which shows a change of residence could give a lot of name fame and prosperity to this person okay so that is it from my side if you have any questions where is your comments then please let me know and uh, before ending i would like to say that uh, there are many other things in this chart which i have not focused okay for example i have not discussed anything about the marriage of this person or the love life okay because that's not the focus of this video so if you think that this is a detailed consultation no that's not the case and there are so many other things like Gemini Karakas which I have not uh, included here. This is just a basic analysis to get a gist of how to approach reading the chart. So many people write in the comments that oh you have not discussed this, you have not discussed that. Hang on, I know all of that. Okay, But uh, this is not a very detailed reading. This is just a basic uh, reading. So uh, I wanted to highlight the aspect of politics here. And there are many other combinations which also lead to a good politician and those are not there in this chart but they can be there in some other charts and now you may say oh I also have these combinations my 10th and 5th are in Parivartan will I become a politician well that is not necessary always yes so all the other combinations also have to support so there are million other combinations about which I will discuss in some other time but uh, not necessarily that all of these are there okay and not necessary that if you have this chart that that person will also be a politician maybe moon goes to a different nakshatra then the whole dynamics will change okay so don't think that this chart uh, all the people with this chart will become a politician or if you do not have these combinations you will never become a politician okay so that is it from my side if you want a consultation approach me through my website and if you are new then subscribe and if you want me to make any other video then please let me know okay until next time wish you good luck bye bye see you